Well, I think I want to start here today by posing a question. How many of you in the audience think that good behaviors, good health behaviors, can be made contagious? All right, we have a, a good showing. We have a few skeptics. You know, we're, we're oftentimes accustomed to thinking about bad behaviors, bad health as being contagious. We think of someone who comes to the office with a really bad cold, touches all the doorknobs, touches you, and, and then the next day everybody is missing from the office. We're also accustomed to thinking about smoking behaviors, young teenagers getting their buddies to smoke and making the society less healthy. We're accustomed to thinking about junk food uh, consumption as being contagious. People go out with their friends, with their families to McDonald's or whatever, and they eat junk food together. And so we can start to think about how this kind of infects society, how it makes it less healthy. And this is obviously very bad for the world, because when we have a disease like cardiovascular disease and something else like diabetes, that costs a lot of money each year, over a trillion dollars. And if we consider a small country like the Kingdom of Jordan, where over time, over the centuries, people have developed a diet that is really well suited for people living in a desert environment, losing a lot of energy each day as they work out in the fields, but all of a sudden rapid urbanization takes over and you have a standardized prevalence rate of 17% and some of the sub-communities, 50% obesity rates, and it's out of control and it costs the country a, a ton of money. So that's where we come in. We set up microclinics. And what are microclinics? They're not bricks and mortar infrastructure. They're groups of people, small groups of friends and family who spread health behaviors. So you take a lady like Layla and she brings a few friends and they join our program together. So we start with one, and then we have more who join. And you know what? She might even bring her daughter or granddaughter to class. And together they learn the basics of what diabetes is and some basic education that everybody should know, but they also do activities together. They walk, they eat healthy food, and they learn how to live healthy lifestyles. And so we can think about Layla as an agent of change. And if we recruit other Laylas in the community, then we are starting to build something. And when they bring their respective groups of families and friends into our program, we start to have more contagion in, in, in the community. And when they finish the program, they're healthier. They lost some weight and reduced their blood sugar. But then they go out in the community and they recruit yet more people. So the contagion spreads. And then those people finish the program and they go back into their homes and their communities and they are the ones who cook the meals. They are the ones who buy the food. And so other people in their households and their community and places of work also change. Does it work? Well, we've been seeing significant drops in blood sugar. Saves a lot of lives, reduces uh, the risk of disease. We've also seen significant drops in body mass index. And we've also seen the way the government and even the Queen of Jordan has come into the community and talked with the community and listened to their needs and interests. But then we thought, well, hey, can't we do this elsewhere? Aren't these universal principles that health can be contagious? So we went to Appalachia, small place called Bell County. And again, we brought people together in their groups. They exercised together. They ate together. They cooked healthy meals in their home together. And again, we saw significant reductions, in this case, in blood pressure. When compared to the control group who didn't receive the intervention, we saw a significant difference. And when we looked at body mass index, again, they reduced their body mass index. And in the control group, not as much. The body mass index was reduced three and a half times more in the intervention group as a result of our program. This program, I believe, is applicable wherever human behaviors are a factor in health. And we believe, based on our experience, that good behaviors are indeed contagious. So won't you help me by passing them on today? Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Man.